Hello everybody, it's me Kieran McLean and we're back again for this week with another video. So you've probably clicked on this video, seeing the title and thinking, hang on a minute, this is very similar to last week's video. I mean, yeah, you're technically right, but it is slightly different. Last week it was focused on where I was four years ago compared to where I hope to be from the situation I'm in now in four years time. This video, however, is going to be looking at where I am now compared to where I plan to be before um, my kidney disease, dialysis, transplant got in the way and where I plan to take my future after school. Now, if you're still confused with the concept of this video, I'll keep going from here and hopefully as the video goes on, you'll start to understand the difference between this, this video and the last video. So let's move on and we'll start discussing with where I plan to be after school and we'll compare that to where I currently am and what I'm currently doing. So I'll see you all over there. So many of you will already know, as I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it in a previous video, not long after I stopped my A-level exams uh, at college, I had to, within a couple of weeks of finishing them, I had to rush into hospital for an emergency operation to have a dialysis tube fitted and a kidney taken out, as I need to stop my process towards dialysis, as recent blood showed that my kidney function was around the 6% mark. So my dialysis ended up taking up 8 to 10 hours of my night every night, so because of tiredness, exhaustion, fatigue and all of that, I didn't really feel like I was able to carry on with the life I'd planned for myself. So going back to where I was before I had my dialysis and stuff, my plans from after college, first of all, my biggest plan was I was going to go to Liverpool Hope University and study environmental science as I was very keen into my geography and environment environmental sort of subjects and as my office for university came through Liverpool Hope had given me an unconditional offer so that was no doubt my first choice to go to to study and focus more on the geographical and environmental career I had had for myself now being a teenager at college I'd hoped to be able to live um, the typical uni life I'd hoped to have a good social life going out, getting drunk, going to clubs and even living in a flat with a few of my mates. I then also planned for myself after uni, I was hoping to get some full-time career slash job in maybe something like the Environment Agency, somewhere focused around there. I'd also hope to be in a, at least a job where I could earn a comfortable income so I could start saving up for my own property and my own home. I had also planned to go travelling more, see more of the world, as I was very keen in my geography, and I am still to this day very eager to go and explore the world and see what we got around us. Now, these are all the plans I had for myself, if in an ideal world I didn't have to battle with my kidney disease and I didn't know have or I didn't have dialysis, a kidney transplant, all of this to worry about. And I was just a typical healthy teenager moving on to university. So now we're moving on to where I am now compared to where I plan to be. So at the moment, in this moment in time recording this video, I am unemployed. Now this is mainly due to the inconsistency in my health at the moment. My transplant isn't ideal or my kidney function is not at a great place, plus the disease, the FSGS, which attacked my original kidneys, is now visible in my transplanted kidney. Now, because of that, I am having inconsistent plasma exchanges, which is at the moment weekly. Sometimes it can jump to three times a week, as well as trying to balance clinic appointments and blood appointments. So, Realistically, with this inconsistency and time I'm having to put into hospital, it's going to be very hard to maintain a job, as well as there's times when I could feel really well and there's times where I could feel awful. So I'm very unemployable at the moment, unfortunately. Now, that being said, 
This is why over the last six months I've taken up these YouTube videos. I feel like I can do something productive, help other people in situations like me. I've also taken up my Twitch live streaming, which is allowing me to communicate with people, keep some sort of uh, social links going. I, I'm enjoying myself whilst doing something productive and growing a community there, which I can use that to raise more awareness for kidney disease too. So although I'm un unemployed, I'm feeling like I'm doing something valuable with my time. Not doing this because it's a hobby slash working for myself. I can fluctuate and bend around the hours where I have health appointments and stuff. I can decide as and when is the best times for me to stream or record as I'm technically working for myself so I don't have to stick to a strict schedule. So that makes it so much easy and so much stress free for myself. No, I'm not really socially active. I know most people haven't over the last year or so because of COVID, but I never really have been since dialysis. I've never gone to clubs, bars. I've never been drunk. I've just never drank because of my health. So I've never really got involved in the teenage slash young adult lifestyle. I also haven't been well enough to travel anywhere, abroad that is. Last time I went abroad was 2016. Now that was before dialysis and I was still in college at the time. So it's been about five years since I last went abroad. Now I'm hoping I can definitely get some traveling in, in the near future. So I'll be looking forward to that. Now in the situation I'm in, I am lucky enough to be in a very happy relationship with my girlfriend. We've been together for just over a year now. I'm lucky enough that she supports me through everything, especially my health. She fully understands my health. So if I'm not feeling too great, she's not trying to push me to do anything I don't feel like I can do. So I've got really, really lucky on that front. Now I'm currently still living at home at my mum's house. Hopefully in the near future, we can start getting some sort of income and looking at getting our own place together. As I know now, I'm the most well I have been in the last six, seven years. And if I'm going to try and get on with my life, now is the best time. As realistically, who knows what the future holds. So yeah, as you guys can see, where I plan to be compared to where I actually am are very, very different. But I am so happy in the situation I'm in at the moment. And I wouldn't change it for the world now I'm in it. I'm looking forward to a bright future ahead. With some success along the way. With health or whatever it is. And I know I've been really enjoying these videos as well as my live streaming. So these are things I'm definitely going to be keeping in. Keeping with throughout the future. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this week's video. I appreciate everyone who keeps coming back every week and supporting. Now, if anyone has any ideas or interests about my whole scenario that you guys would like to see in a video, please leave them in the comments down below or send me a message on Twitter, which is at Blur Statics. And I will definitely try and incorporate some of your guys' ideas into these videos. I've still got a few ideas in mind that I've got noted down, but there will come a point where I'm running short of ideas. So I'd appreciate any support or any input you guys might have into these videos. But that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching once again, guys. Massively appreciated. Take care and I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.